Howdy freeze dryers, welcome back to Live Life Simple Kitchen. There's been a lot of talk about food shortages lately, and there's probably never been a better time to utilize your freeze dryer and get some good food storage going. And in my videos, I've covered recipes for humans, I've covered recipes for your pets, but there's something missing. What about little humans? What's gonna happen when you don't have food for the baby? So today we're gonna make and freeze dry some baby food. It's okay, little guy. Well, our baby days are long gone, but we have five pretty solid recipes that we liked when we were making baby food for our kids, and that just happens to uh, coordinate with our five large trays. Uh, if you have a medium, you can just choose four of these five. And I will say that even if you do not have babies, these make a pretty good fruit bar. I know I made a fruit bar video a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is gonna go right along with that. Same kind of concept. Uh, it's gonna get the same texture. We're gonna pretty much prepare prepare it the same way. All of these recipes were meant to uh, for the baby pouches that you see if you make homemade baby food. So I multiplied a recipe times five. That should yield us about six cups per recipe, which will fit on a large freeze dryer. If you have a medium freeze dryer, you can just adjust accordingly. Maybe just take a third off, or if you wanna try and squeeze six cups onto a medium, you can do that as well. All of these recipes are gonna use a blender, or I like to use a Vitamix. This is one of my favorite freeze drying tools for pureeing just because it does what the normal blender can't do. And uh, this first recipe, we're gonna get right into it. It's gonna be an apple spinach brown rice mixture. We're gonna start off with about a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're gonna want to add a tablespoon of lemon juice to all of these recipes because the acidity is gonna help preserve it, especially in the freeze dryer um, and especially when you rehydrate. Then we need two and a half cups of cooked brown rice about five cups of raw spinach. You kinda wanna pack it down. And then we need five apples cored. And I like this little apple core thing we use. We core apples quite a lot when we're freeze drying. And I like this one because this little flap goes around and you can push the apple all the way through. A lot of them don't have that little flap. All right, well this is one full blender. We might have to add some water if you do just to get it going. All right, first one down, we'll see how we did. Very nice, I think it actually made a pretty good amount. You could go a little bit heavier if you wanted to. I'm gonna use the tray dividers, and I'm using them in the 40 portion grid because if you have ever had babies, you know that sometimes they don't always wanna eat, so you don't wanna make a whole bunch at a time. If you have just little cubes, uh, you can just uh, do as much as you need at the time. Next recipe is a real easy one. It's just uh, two ingredients, and we don't actually need the lemon juice on this one because the acidity of one of the ingredients, the pineapple, should, uh, should take the place of what the lemon normally does. So we're shooting for five cups of pineapple. I'm using fresh pineapple. I have a pretty slick little tool that will actually core it and cut it at the same time. It just spins down and it makes those rings that you're used to seeing in the canned pineapple. And what you're left with is a cored pineapple. So I'm gonna puree our pineapple and then you want to slowly add in three and a half to four cups of broccoli florets. And you'll kinda know when it's done because you'll, you'll get that right texture of baby food. Second tray, broccoli pineapple. Next up, a mango sweet potato. So this one we need a splash of our lemon juice again. We need two and a half cups of cooked sweet potato, and then about five cups of mango. I'm using frozen mango because processing mangoes to me is a pain in the butt. And the cost of mangoes right now was just out of this world. It was a lot cheaper to just buy the frozen chunks like this. So I'm gonna blend this all together and then we're gonna add our last ingredient which is two and a half cups of quinoa. And this is cooked quinoa. This recipe is probably one that you will most likely have to add water to. And babies love this one because it has a lot of sweetness in it. 
For tray number four, we're gonna need five bananas. We're gonna need two and a half cups of cooked zucchini. So I'm just cooking mine in some water just to soften them up. So we'll do a squirt of lemon juice again. We'll add our five bananas. So I'm gonna toss in this zucchini with a little bit of extra water as well. And then we're gonna add two and a half cups of cooked rice. And I've been sneaking a taste of all this stuff and I think uh, adults would enjoy this just as much as babies. Uh, in fact, we'll, we'll have no problem getting rid of this stuff. There's no babies around this house anymore, but this stuff will disappear quick. And just like that, we're on to our last freeze dryer tray. Last one, just a squirt of lemon. We're gonna do two and a half cups of peas. We're gonna do five cups of raw spinach. And then if we can squeeze these in here, five pears. And I'm not gonna lie, this is quite a bit of work. It takes quite a bit of food to make this amount, but this amount of food would last a baby for a very long time. All right, that's all there is to it. We are all done, other than I need to clean up the enormous mess that I made making all of this. But I'm gonna pop these in the, uh, the deep freeze, and then we'll see you down at the freeze dryer. All right, our freeze dried baby food is all good and solid frozen. Remember to subscribe if you have not already. We do mostly freeze drying in this channel and uh, other related topics. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the, the bell to get notifications. That'll let you uh, get future videos when they come out, which for us is Sunday at 8 a.m. every Sunday. Make sure that if you are interested in freeze drying or if you just got your freeze dryer, join our Facebook group, join our MeWe group. Those are awesome free resources. You can search using this magnifying glass. Uh, you can search all the old threads. You can search all the information that's ever been talked about on those social media groups. And if you see some products that you like for the freeze dryer, such as the lids or the dividers, silicone mats, etc., check out our store, freeze drying supplies com or if you just want to check out the freeze dryer how much it costs find out some of the specs different sizes options things like that make sure you check out our affiliate link we'll put that down in the description you can click on that show more button that'll drop down a kind of a list of different things including our affiliate link that'll take you to harvest rights website let them know that we sent you there and before I forget if you enjoy the content that we're putting out there tell us by hitting the thumbs up button on this video. It helps these videos get out to freeze dryers and future freeze dryers. Let's get back to the freeze dried baby food, which should be done in about, oh, I don't know, 36 hours or so. See you then. Woo. All right. Well, that was a really long cycle. That was about 57 hours, but it's understandable just because of the, the way that baby food is. It's really dense and it's uh, there's a lot of liquid inside baby food. So let's take a peek, see how everything turned out. Well, everything looks really good, even though it was really thick. It looks like our dividers kept everything separate. And I think this is probably gonna rehydrate really well because it looks like it would powder very easily. So I'm gonna bag everything. I'll meet you back upstairs and we will rehydrate this. And we'll get a general consensus on some freeze dried baby food. Let's get these rehydrated. So we have our apple spinach. We have our pineapple broccoli our zucchini banana, mango sweet potato, and our pea spinach pear. And all of them rehydrated beautifully. Baby's gonna be happy with this one. This will really help with uh, cutting down your leftovers. There are always leftover fruits and stuff in your house, so you could mix them all together, throw them in, a, in, a, in dividers, put a lid on it and freeze dry it with a, a different cycle of whatever if you wanted to, but all of this rehydrates really well. I like the portions, but I would suggest mashing down the portions into a powder uh, before you rehydrate it will work a lot better. You'll get less uh, chunkiness and it'll actually uh, make that smoother texture. And there you have it, five baby food recipes that can all be freeze dried. They all rehydrate very, very well. I'm not gonna go through and taste test all of these. I might throw them in smoothies or something later. But in the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week. Num nums.